Chadwick Boseman's journey may have been cut short by his death at 43, but he had already proved a hero to countless people he inspired along the way. In his short 43 years on Earth, Chadwick Boseman had the opportunity to tell a lot of stories, stories of importance, of determination, of black excellence, from historical figures like Jackie Robinson, James Brown, and Thur God Marshall, to fiction ones like King T'Challa. Boseman built a career out of bringing heroes to big screen, humanizing their struggles as only he could. Bozeman's began in a small town of Anderson, South California, born on November 29, 1976, as the youngest son of mom Carolyn, a nurse, and dad Leroy, a textile factory worker with an upholstery business on the side. Bozeman was a quiet kid whose earliest role models was Bozeman who'd come before him. He learned work ethic from his father. I saw him work a lot of third shifts, a lot of night shifts, Bozeman told the New York Times in 2019. Whenever I work a particular hard week, I think of him. From oldest brother Derek, now a preacher in Tennessee, he gleaned a drive to win. I wanted to beat the older one in sports, he said when discussing his brothers. A talented basketball player. Both men had what it took to be recruited by colleges and might have followed the path has tragedy not changed the course of his life. And from another brother, Kevin, a dancer with the Alvin Ailey company who toured with the Lion King, he was exposed to the arts, something that were foreign to both men until Kevin paved the way. He had the resolve to be like, no, I have something, I'm going to do it anyway, right or wrong. Bozeman said of his brother's determination to follow his dream. After graduating high school in 1995, he began attending Howard, the historical black university in Washington, D.C with dreams of becoming a director. To help him understand how to effectively communicate with actors, he took extra acting classes. It was here that he had the opportunity to learn from the iconic Felicia Rochard, beloved to generations at the Cosby shows, Claire Hustable, who would become Bozeman mentor. Describing her prized pupil in Rolling Stone, Rashad recalled in 2018, Chad was this lanky young man with big eyes and an endearing smile and a very gentle way. What I saw in him was the sky was the limit. He never asked me to introduce him to anyone. That's not his way. He was going to make it on his own merits. While under her tutelage, Bozeman and some classmates applied to a prestigious theater program at Oxford University, and despite his determined self-sufficiency, attendance upon acceptance required something he and his cohorts lacked money. So Rashad called in some favors from a few of her famous friends and got the trip funded. After graduating from Howard in 2000, Bozeman settled down in Brooklyn, where he began writing and directing plays in New York's hip-hop theater scene. To pay the bills, he worked as a drama instructor for the Schomburg Junior Schoolers Program, which was housed at the Schomburg Center, a research library dedicated to black culture in Harlem. As Rashad told Rolling Stone, he was so proud and fulfilled by that. When he talked about it, he became like sunshine. He loved it so much. 
he soon began booking acting gigs with guest appearances on TV shows like Third Watch, Law and Order, and Earl. In 2008, he landed a recurring role on the short-lived ABC Family series Lincoln Heights and appeared in his first film, The Express, The Ernie David Story. Two years later, he upgraded to a series regular with a leading role on NBC's Persons Unknown. But his big break wouldn't come until 2013, when he landed the role of Jackie Robinson, the groundbreaking professional baseball player in the film 42. After his portrayal of Robinson came, in quick succession, the privilege of resurrecting both the inimitable Godfather of Saul in 2014's Get On Up and the first black Supreme Court Justice in 2017's Michelle before sleeping on his vibranium suit as a king of Wakanda in Marvel's Black Panther. While the string of biopics allowed the actor to embody a trio of giants in the civil rights movement, is his work at Black Panther, which began with a scene stealing turn in 2016's Captain America Civil War, before seguing into the revolutionary in 2018 solo film where Bosman was able to find the most meaning and make his biggest mark. One need only look at the outpouring of love and grief in the immediately aftermath of his passing to see the impact his performance of the beloved comic book character made on black community, especially children who'd never before had the opportunity to see themselves as a superhero. The magnitude of Black Panther's success was never lost on Bozeman. While accepting the film's win for outstanding performance by a cast in a motion picture of the 2019 Screen Actors Guild Awards, he remarked to be young, gifted, and black. We all know what it's like to be told that there's not a place for you to be featured. We knew that we had something special that we wanted to give to the world that we could be four human beings in the roles we're playing, that we could create a world that exemplified a world that we wanted to see. The brutal reality to Bozeman cultural ascendance was that it all unfolded as he was privately fighting for his life. Having been diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer in 2016, he spent the last four years of his life working tirelessly on project after project in between countless surgeries and chemotherapy. As the statement announcing his death revealed on August 28, 2020, staggering to consider the sacrifices he made to the film Black Panther, Avengers, Infinity War, and Endgame, and more why so sick and a potent reminder that you never really know what anyone is going through.